or your podcast. These are a couple of programs that I listed here and also on your uh, electronic and paper handout. Um, Audacity is a free program. Uh, Alejandro Kromowski earlier today um, mentioned this program that it is for both Macintosh and Windows um, platforms. Free program for recording and editing digital audio. GarageBand is the program that I use. It's part of the iLife suite for the Mac. Comes free with new Macs and or is $69 with the education discount with all the other iLife applications like iMovie and iDVD and iPhoto. One of the podcasts that I showed earlier, or that I played earlier, the EdTech Musician podcast, uh, they use a program called Pod Producer. Um, that is a free program as well, only for the uh, Windows uh, XP platform. Uh, Adobe Audition, I believe, is another one that you could also use uh, for podcasting as well. So what I wanted to do... Is it a, uh, Windows Adobe Audition? Adobe Audition, I believe, is a Windows program, yes. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to demonstrate for you how to record an audio podcast and an enhanced audio podcast using GarageBand Free. Those of you who have GarageBand or previous versions of GarageBand, you can still create podcasts, audio podcasts through the older versions of uh, GarageBand. Uh, GarageBand Free just came out this past January, and it has a lot of really neat um, podcast-friendly features to it. So uh, I wanted to demonstrate how easy it is and fun that it can be. So let me take you to that. Now, GarageBand was originally conceived to be a, a, a music recording program for basically amateur musicians to uh, record their uh, music projects or music compositions. But now they have this neat new button where you can create a new podcast episode. So I'm going to click on the new podcast episode here. And I'm going to name it something. Let me call it the MTNA Podcast. I click create, and it sets it up for me here. And here comes GarageBand. Right, so here it is. Um, let's see. All right, so here you have, it's kind of just like a multi-track recorder. You notice when I'm talking right now, the internal microphone on my laptop is actually picking up my voice now. So I actually can record from there. Uh, male voice and female voice, you have jingles. There's a podcast track here. It's set up just like a, you know, a, a tape recorder that it has a record button, rewind, fast forward, and all sorts of stuff. And you have here a visual representation of your um, a podcast. So what I want to do is I prepared a little script here for my NTN podcast. So here we go. Ready? I'm going to record here. There it goes. This is Mario Harrow reporting live from the NTNA National Conference at the Austin Convention Center in Austin, Texas. In today's piano podcast, I catch up with my good friends Feng Shan and Ryan and talk about the highlights of their conference experience. I also talk with Shannon Kirk of Time Warp Technologies to see what's new with their home concert extreme program. I also ran into my old friend Charmaine at the Wilson Music Booth to find out about the newest publications from Eric Baumgartner. We also have a live studio audience here of 1,000 podcast fans in attendance. So let's get on with the show. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> so I can go back and I can record that, or I can play. Mario Herrera reporting live from the NTNA National Conference at the Austin Convention Center. Okay, we don't need to listen to me again and do all that stuff. So that's how easy it is to record your voice here. You could, if they have uh, particular preset settings for the microphone for a male voice and female voice. I chose male voice, obviously. Uh, an instrument, um, they have also uh, instrument settings where you could actually have your instrument you know, play right uh, at the um, at the microphone here. Uh, what's also neat is they have these jingles that come preloaded into them. Here, let me show you uh, all about the jingles. If I go into the jingles section here, there's actually all these jingles that come preloaded into GarageBand. These are royalty-free tracks that are made available to you that you can add to your podcast. So let me find. Uh... <laughs> What's that? Um, you could get it to by let's see. Um, you start a new track. Uh, you can either have a software instrument, a MIDI instrument. 
where you can also have a real instrument as well that is captured by the is that which one? Yeah. Uh, yes, this is just for Mac here. But uh, Pop Producer is also another one that is, has very similar qualities for the Windows PC. Pod Producer? Yes. Uh, let me find one here. You can sample some of these jingles here. Okay, so unlike that little park bench, excuse me, um, podcast, so I can drag that into my jingles track. And I have that there. I'll move my voice a little bit over there. It's very dynamic. This is Mary O'Hara reporting live from the NTNA National Conference at the Austin. And you notice that the music actually dropped down automatically once my voice started happening. You'll notice there's these little arrows here. There's an arrow pointing up for my male voice, and then the jingles has a blue arrow pointing down. That's called what's, what's called a ducking effect. A ducking effect means that this track will always be louder than any um, podcast track that you set up that is uh, has an uh, arrow pointed down. So you don't have to do anything like resetting levels or um, messing around with a mixing board, anything like that. Right? So um, you can do the jingles there as well. Um, there's also a media button where you could put in audio from your iTunes music library. Um, like if you have certain performances that are saved into your iTunes music library, so like something from your recital, and you want to put that into your podcast, you can just simply click and drag that into um, the uh, jingles or some other separate track as well. Now what I want to show next, uh, this is how you would create a regular audio podcast. Uh, I talked about enhanced podcasts earlier, and I wanted to show what that is all about. Enhanced podcasts are basically, you can take, um, well, has anyone ever bought music from the iTunes Music Store? Yes? Now, when you buy the music, you get, of course, the digital audio file, but you also get something else, too, don't you? What do you get? The album cover. Yeah, there's, a, there's an actual picture of the album cover that is included in that digital audio file when you download it. And what the uh, uh, people at uh, Apple have done is they've, taken that technology where you can embed pictures into the digital audio file and you can create an enhanced, which we call an enhanced podcast. So I can actually sync up various types of images here. If you look over here, this is linked up to my iPhoto library. I took a few pictures yesterday of uh, some friends here that I met. And I can sync that up. Uh, let me see if I can remember. Where did I talk about Brian and Fang Sean? In Austin, Texas, in today's Pam podcast, I, okay, so I can take this picture of Ryan and Fanchon, and I can drag it into the podcast track, and whoop, it's there. And let me see, where else? I also ran into my old friend Charmaine. Oops, I skipped a little too far. Yes, I catch up with my good friends Fanchon and Ryan and Tom. I also caught up with Shannon Kirk. Okay, so I have Shannon Kirk here. I can drag that over here. And whoop, that picture of her is added to my podcast artwork. And then finally, Charmaine and Eric Baumgartner. I can put them there. Now, what I'm going to do is, after I'm done highlighting that, um, also on this podcast track, you could also set up various parameters of your um, uh, podcast in general. You can mark it to be a clean or explicit podcast. I think mine's relatively clean, so I'll keep it at that. And you can put it in the description of your podcast. That is, this is the MTNA podcast from Austin. Okay. And you can get even more detail than that, but let's just leave it at that. And watch, this would be like what you would see in that iTunes artwork music window when uh, you're playing it. So in today's piano podcast, I catch up with my good friends Ben Sean and Ryan and talk about the highlights of their conference experience. I also talk with Shannon Kirk about Time Warp Technologies to see what's new with their home conservatory program. I also ran into my old friend Charmaine at the Wilson Music Booth to find out about the newest publications from Eric Baumgartner. We also have a live studio audience here of 1,000 podcast fans in attendance. So let's get on with the show. Okay. So yay, it sounded like a thousand. <laughs> By the way, if, if I didn't have such a wonderful audience like you, you guys, I could actually um, 
cheat a little bit. And um, I could uh, have, uh, yeah, I could have. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's always neat to have there. So those are uh, what you could do with an enhanced podcast um, as well. But it's not just. It's not just um, pick, just putting the simple putting pictures in there. Let's say for um, um, let me go back into the podcast track. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place here. Um, here you'll notice you can set up chapters into the podcast, just like you can set up. Those of you who came to my creating DVDs uh, presentation, I talked about creating chapters in DVDs. You can actually do the same thing in an audio file, which is really handy if you have a really long podcast, like 30 minutes long, and you just want to get to that section where like, I want to talk to, where I talk about Ryan, and it sets up the podcast chapter to go to Ryan, I, Ryan and Fengshan. I can put the title being Fengshan and Ryan here. Uh, and you can also embed, well, let me go to the Shanna Kirk one. Let me put Shanna Kirk. And I can put in Time Warp Technologies. that. Oops, sorry. And also you can embed a URL. You can put in a hyperlink to a website there. So I'm going to put in um, www.timewarptech.com. And when I go through those chapters, I catch up with my good friends Fenshan and Ryan and talk about the highlights of their conference experience. I also talk with Shannon Kirk about time. Now look at Look underneath uh, Shannon's picture here. There's a actual hyperlink to Time Warp Technologies, which will be active in your iTunes Music Artwork window. So when you click on that, it will take you to TimeWarpTech.com, just like that. So you could actually set up like lessons, like say you're doing a, a, a you know a lesson on Brahms, let's say, and then you're talking about Brahms uh, biography. You could say you can learn more about Brahms by you know clicking here. It's just as simple as that. So that's what Enhanced Podcast is all about. I do have one Enhanced Podcast that I did produce. And unfortunately, because of time, I don't have time to do it. But since it is podcast, you can check it out after the, uh, at the time. I took the Copeland Piano Sonata, one of my favorite pieces, the first movement of it. And I did a little bit of a history lesson behind it. And I also even did a little bit of a theoretical analysis of it. I put up uh, in the artwork uh, excerpts from the score, circled various sections like the themes, the recapitulation. You can go from the, uh, the exposition to the development. It's really dynamic. And I hope you guys can check that out uh, uh, sometime in the future. Uh, that's the Copeland Piano Sonata Enhanced Podcast. Look for Enhanced Podcasts.